Hello and welcome to Books That Aren't Harry Potter. I'm your host Beck, and today I'll take you through some of my favourite books or book series that sadly are not Harry Potter. Books that aren't Harry Potter, fantasy. All you Harry Potter fans are probably big fans of fantasy series and there is a brilliant series by an Australian author called Garth Nix called The Old Kingdom Trilogy. This is the first book, Sabriel. Sabriel is about this girl, Sabriel, obviously. She's just about to graduate school and she was planning to go back to the Old Kingdom with her dad, but she finds out her dad's missing. So she has to take on the role of the apostle in waiting, which is basically a good necromancer and go save her dad. So Sabriel by Garth Nix is the first book in this trilogy and it is brilliant. The next two are called Lyriel and Ab Horson and they are just as brilliant. If you're looking for another fantasy series then this series here, I highly recommend it. Especially if you like things with necromancers and magic and all that good stuff. Books that aren't Harry Potter, teenage girl section. Now Harry Potter also has a lot of female fans and if you are a teenage girl out there, or maybe not even teenage, but young adult girl, you guys are probably going to shoot me for saying this, but if you want a vampire romance series which has a little, like, has some action and it's just not all soppy, oh my god, he's like the most perfect person ever and oh my god, I'm just like so totally in love with him even though I don't have a personality whatsoever and you want something with a little bit more grit and a little bit more attitude and that's actually well written and has characters with personality, then I would recommend the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. This first book, Vampire Academy, is about this girl, Rose, who is a half vampire and her best friend, Lissa, who is a full vampire. Lissa is the last of one of the royal bloodlines, the Dragomir bloodline, and Rose is her guardian and it's about their life like they ran away from St. Vladimir's which is the school they were at to um for reasons revealed in the book and they get captured and taken back to the school so it's about them trying to escape from that trouble and getting up to all kinds of shenanigans so the second book is called Frostbite and then we have book three Shadow Kiss then we have Blood Promise and we have book five Spirit Bound um, this one, they left it on a cliffhanger and book six comes out in a few weeks time on December 7th so be looking forward to that. I finally want to know what happens. I think book six is going to be the last one in the series but yeah this is a very good series. The Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. Highly recommend it. Books that aren't Harry Potter, adult fiction. If you're like me and you grew up with Harry Potter, you started reading it when you were in primary school, elementary school, when you were young basically. And you are now a young adult and you want books that are a little bit more intense than Harry Potter and have a little bit more of adult themes and such. Now I know a lot of you will have heard of this movie but um, Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. It is a fantastic movie and it is a fantastic book. Um, I highly recommend if you if you can't be bothered reading it, I still highly recommend you see the movie. It is brilliant and this book is amazing. Now a lot of you have probably seen the movie or read this book, but were you aware that Chuck Palahniuk has written other books? So I'm just going to show you my other two favourites by him as he has got a lot of great books, but Invisible Monsters is a fantastic book. It is... His books, are, they're pretty twisted and it it jumps around a lot time-wise. It's about this girl who is a model and there is an accident that leaves her horribly disfigured and she has to hide her face the whole time going around wearing a veil because her new face disgusts everyone. And she meets this drag queen called Brandy Alexander who is one surgery away from being a real woman that outlines what happens to the two of them. Yeah, um, I don't know if any of you have heard of the song Time to Dance by Panic at the Disco, but that song is actually based off of this book. And my other favourite book by Chuck Palahniuk is called Rant. I don't even know how to begin starting to explain these books. I'll just read snippets from the blurb. 
Rant is the oral history of one Buster Rant Casey. Rant is a darkly glittering anti-hero whose recreational drug of choice is rabies and whose own personal Viagra is the venom of the Black Widow Spider. So as you can tell, this Rant guy is a little cuckoo, but it's really good. Sadly, there are no more Harry Potter books, but join us next time and we'll take you through some more books that aren't Harry Potter that might help relieve the pain of losing Harry Potter, even just that little bit. But that's all for now. Bye. Hello, and welcome to Books That Aren't Harry Potter. Thank you for sleeping, Henry. Are you quite done? Books That Aren't Harry Potter. Books That Aren't Harry Potter. The noisy puppy wants to get in on the action. You're moving my tripod. Silly puppy. Okay, Henry, drop. Camera angle is going to have changed completely. Thank you, puppy. Thank you very much, though.